The Golpaigan County, located in the Isfahan province, central Iran, is a region with many beautiful natural landscapes that adorn the area and draw visitors in for a truly relaxing break all year round. It's a remarkable land where trees whisper their secrets to you as their leaves dance in the wind and rivers sing to you as they flow with dignity to the lakes. Just 12 kilometers away from the city of Golpaigan and we come to a small, quiet village called Vanishan. This ancient village is mostly known for its great weather, lush gardens that are filled with tall, mature trees and of course... the history of this village through the years gone by. As we hit the road again and drive to the west of the city of Golpaigan, we come to another village called Hende. This peaceful, quiet and serene area is filled with hawthorn trees as old as 500 years, green plains and farmlands that stretch as far as the eye can see. The main crops of this village are mostly grains and as we were looking around, we met some farmers harvesting chickpeas. Well, I don't know about you, but I personally have never seen how chickpeas are harvested and cultivated. Let me show you a bunch of them. Take a look at these. Each one is hidden inside a pod. And if I just open it up for you, you can see the, the pea here. This one is almost done. It's kind of greenish. And the villagers have told me it takes a lot of time for them to harvest these crops. Um, they say you can even eat these when they're still green because they're a bit soft. Let me have a taste. Quite good actually. Not far from the city of Golpaigan and we come to a place called Hassan Hafez. This green area is filled with Mother Nature's generosity where bit by bit of this land is packed with peach and mostly apricot trees. This lush area is situated very close to the city of Golpaigan and you can almost get here in 10 minutes. It's the perfect destination for those who want to chill out and spend a few hours in nature away from the everyday busy life. It's heaven. The Hassan Hafez village is popular for its fertile farming lands, secluded and pleasant gardens, fine weather and the peaceful landscapes. اقلیم اینجا اقلیم کوهستانیه و چون در حاشیه کوهستان‌های زاگرس قرار داره آب و هواش کاملا با شهرهای اطراف متفاوته آب و هوای خنکی داره و در واقع میشه بگی ما چهار فصل را به شکل کامل در این شهر حس می‌کنیم زمستون‌هاش خیلی سرد نمیشه تابستون‌هاش معمولا میانگین درجه حرارت از 34 یا 35 درجه بالاتر نمیره 
فضای سبز خیلی خوبی داره به مدد آب فراوانی که در این منطقه از رودخانه انارباار جاریه. As you wander through the gardens, you are captivated by the sound of the river as well as the birds singing on the trees, the smell of fresh baked bread from the houses, and the aromatic scent of the native plants make it hard for us to leave the area, as we were guided to our next destination. And finally, the Kuchere village by the foot of a mountainous area called Godar Makule. This beautiful river runs along 25 kilometers of lush trees like willow and plane tree and native plants like licorice and penroy. This river finally flows into a forest park by the side of the city, which is about 33 hectares. There's still a lot to see in the Golpaigan County. If you find the chance to visit the Isfahan province, make sure to spend a few days here too. Khodanizgi for Iran. extremely rich culture and fossil fuel reserves. In fact, there is a limitless wealth hidden even in a fistful of sand. Here is called Oron Vapit Gol, a small city 200 kilometers away from the capital Tehran. It begins from Iran's central desert and goes all the way to the south. On the edges of this side of Iran's central desert, known as Maranjab, is a road that leads us to an absolute bright view, Maranjab Salt Lake. موقعیت دریاچه 45 کیلومتری شمال آران بیگو قرار داره و جاده دسترسیش فقط از آران بیگل می باشد. و این دریاچه تا حدود 50 کیلومتر در 60 کیلومتر مربع استش که ما سونداش کردیم تا عمق پنج متری هم نمک وجود داره و خلوص نمک اینجا بالای 98 هستش که نمک استاندارد جهانی حدودا 97 هست ولی اینجا از میانگین استاندارد جهانی بالاتره این دیس دیزرت Salt has been produced through an evaporation process and is the remaining of a sea which once used to cover the whole area and went extinct millions of years ago. This gigantic spread of white color is one of Iran's biggest mines, which more than 80% of the salt consumed by Iranians is extracted from here. Moreover, this salty land is filled with minerals such as boron, magnesium, and potassium, which can be found all over this soil, layer after layer. and maybe even in the world for its harmony and symmetry. Salt is so powerful in nature to the point where it can even create geological structures. One of those examples is a salt dome. Sometimes the salt minerals steaming under the ground push the upper stone layers so hard that enter them vertically and then the steam comes out. This mode creates bubbles or domes. The geological history of this salt dome dates back to 600 million years ago. This dome is massively big and stretches three kilometers towards north. In addition to the white trace of salt and crystals which cover small salty streams, one of the most interesting spots of this landscape is a sinkhole situated in the middle of the lake 
and its depth is unknown. Twenty minutes away from the dome, we reach the end of our white journey. Hos Sultan. Probably the most interesting point about this amazing scene is that it's not totally natural and was built in 1882 next to Tehran Qom Road. Today, this white scenery covers 240 square kilometers. The thickness of its salt layers reach 20 meters and are separated from each other with different colors of clay from brown to gray. Some experts have considered this phenomenon as a lagoon and its name can be seen among Iran's lakes. But the most important point about this stunning natural basin is its ability to reflect light because of the high amount of salt crystals being dissolved in water, which creates a gigantic mirror. Bolivia is the only country in the world which has a natural mirror and is comparable to Hos Sultan. The experience of traveling through the white salty path in this part of Iran is for sure one of a kind.